Green Bay with more. Hi, Ann. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. Yeah, it wouldn't be St. Patrick's Day if you didn't have a bagpiper out at a local parade, right? Well, we're out here at St. Brendan's Inn in Green Bay previewing a parade that's actually going to be going on on Thursday. And I'm here now with John and Marianne of the Shamrock Club of Green Bay. Um, last year was your first year having the parade. This year, the second year, what's new and different this year? Real, real excited this year. We're going to have the Green Bay and Fire Department Honor Guards leading off the parade. Um, we are also invited Mark Murphy to the parade this year. Last year he was there and promised to bring the Super Bowl trophy back. Mark remembers his promise. If he's in town and not out because of collective bargaining, he will be here with the trophy. So some big additions. Some really big additions and really exciting. Um, last year you were talking about the weather and it was gorgeous. This year though, we're thinking rain. Would it affect anything if, if it did rain? It may affect some things such as the bagpipes. Uh, the, the wood on the bagpipes may be affected. Otherwise, you know, we're hardy, we're Irish, we'll be marching down the trail. And I know, you know, last year the, you had a few different things. This year you're having the Notre Dame Academy coming out, the Irish dancers. Uh, very, very uh, very Irish theme, of course, on St. Patrick's Day. Very Irish theme. We've, we've got those. Uh, we added some chairs this year. We added a larger speaker system. Um, seating we're going to have available. If you bring a non-perishable food item or a cash donation, that'll go to St. Patrick's Pantry. So we're really trying to keep this a family affair. 4.30 on Thursday, downtown Green Bay? Yes. And uh, we're very proud to have Cellcom as our main sponsor of this year's parade again. Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining us. And we have Dan over here. He has been playing the bagpipe, he says, what, since you were 10? Yeah. Um, this is an amazing instrument. And I have been told extremely difficult to play. And I know you are part Irish, so yeah. kind of tell us, um, you know, what you do on a daily basis. You know, you're a local bagpipe player, but yep. tell us what you do. Uh, for a living, I work for the bar, and I'm also in the National Guard, and um, that's basically it. Yeah. And I know we were talking about the weather could be a factor. Why is the weather a factor for a bagpipe? Well, the pipes are made out of African blackwood, uh, which is a really delicate hard wood. Um, they absorb moisture really well, so you bring them out in the cold, coming in and out of the cold weather to the hot weather could really crack them. Tell me about your outfit. This is just, it's gorgeous. Tell me about it. Well, I'm wearing my family tartan. It's called the Moet. Um, and here you got, basically back in the day, it would be considered a, the purse or a wallet for the, the, the gentleman. You work down, you got your hose. Um, a skin do, which is considered the black, or called the black knife, because what happened was the Highlanders were kind of thrifty. So when something would break, they'd keep on using it. So it started off as your long sword, the, the claymores, worked into a dirk. And then down to the scheme do, and then your shoes. The Glengarry is a, a military style hat. Um, and that's basically it. Well, you look great, and we want to hear you play, weather permitting. Uh, you'll be out there on yep. Thursday. So hopefully, Pete, hopefully we'll have good weather for Thursday for the parade. Um, if you want any information, check out our website. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. We have all the stuff for the Shamrock Club of Green Bay's parade. Right now, Dan, you're going to take it away. <laughs> And we will hear him on Thursday, as she says, weather permitting.